Hello my beautiful Libra friends, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. I hope everyone's doing well, my beautiful spirits. We are jumping into this reading right now. It is a love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus of Libra. The overall energy from spirit is willing release. You may be called upon to release something. Dandelions, pretty harmless. It doesn't look like it's too tough. We get seeing beyond, using your third eye, using your intuition being guided to know what to do. The Oracle's gift. Ooh, so there's something of a gift in this love reading for you. The overall energy from the standpoint of where you and your lover are is a two of coins. So both of you are undecided. Uh, you may be dating other people. You may have other relationships. The moon card speaks to the fact that you aren't really disclosing much to one another. You're not talking a lot. So Libra, here you are in your reading, the Libra Queen. The mutual energy between you and your person right now is Pisces energy, Capricorn energy, and Libra energy. So the, the energy right now is both of you being very, very locking your heart in a cage and letting your mind make your pathway, you know, head over heart, head over heart decision, throwing caution to the winds, but being very aware. What else do we have here for the Libra Queen and the way forward for this relationship in the recent past for both of you? Devil energy, okay. So both of you really are in lockdown mode. Devil energy is not my favorite. It usually speaks to the fact that there's some sort of codependency or behavior that will need to be addressed for this relationship to be successful. So we have also, too, the toxic energy. Both of you, both of you may be married to someone else, or one of you may be married to someone else, because we're getting here that both of you are trying to you want to get to know each other better. You want to invest in the relationship. You want to throw caution to the winds, but there is a limitation here. The devil card is toxicity. Okay, so four of wands, twin flame. Okay, not unusual energies for twin flame. So let's see, your person sees you as someone who is single and ready to mingle. Both of you are very powerful. Uh, people in terms of the dating scene, you're both highly desirable, you dress beautifully. Both of you are completely independent creatures who do not need relationship to feel happy, but we have a big crush going on here. Both of you are in the energy, though, that, you know, this might not go anywhere. The Page of Cups means that the Page of Cups is the energy that you're in. Your feet are not on the ground. When pigs fly, this could work out. So again, I am seeing a certain defensiveness here. I believe one of you are in another relationship or have another commitment that has not fully ended. And I feel like it's your person, Libra. Now, they may or may not have told you, you know, depending on who they are, but I think you may suspect it. Because we have the moon card here twice. Your person is being somewhat, in my opinion, um, you know, they're keeping secrets. The moon card is smoky trails and what you haven't been told. And your person's secret is marriage. So it does look like, you know, we get the movement of pentacles. They could be engaged to be married to someone else. They could be headed in that direction. And now, the judgment cards coming up and asking them to release you or this person. So we look and see twin flame. Wow. Twin flame, twin flame. First row of cards. So your person is in denial. Your person with this feeling so underwater. Your person feels in denial that you're the twin flame. They definitely have to. Judgment of divorce, judgment card, judgment card. Your person may be getting a divorce. That might be what's going on right now because we do get the Knight of Pentacles, not the King of Pentacles. So this is a twin flame relationship. We're very intense situation here. But spirit is supportive of the relationship. So let's see. When they look at you, they think of you as a magician. Oh my gosh. So you may be a Gemini, or your, your person may be a Gemini, but they think of you as a Gemini. Your person actually is thinking of you as being the magician. You can manifest anything. 
you are always very open to equal give and take. You're very solid about what you bring to a relationship. The offer that you've made in this relationship is truth, clarity, you know, giving your all. Your person really has fire in their belly for you. The strength card is, you know, being in love, having the strength, having the tenacity, but they don't think they can hold on to you. This person tries to be very, very careful about not being overly possessive or not getting obsessed with the relationship. We see their energy here with that two of swords, but right now your person is what's passion. They, they, this is a stable person, Leo energy, but right now they're in this more playful, in and out, let's make love, do a little dance, get down tonight kind of energy. Your person is trying to ignore their emotions. Okay, I'm going to move these here. Okay, so your person's trying to ignore their emotions. Look at that. Ace of Cups is they're falling in love with you, and they're trying to ignore it. Five of Coins says that they don't want to lose any money. They don't want to be put out in the cold. But the Judgment card here has been twice, and it could be the Judgment of Divorce that they're going through. So I think for many of you, they may be going through a divorce currently. For others, they're going to do it in the future. But what else do we have? Nine of Wands. Your person has no fire in the belly right now for anything that's heavily emotional. Tell us more about this person and what they can give our Libra friends. Spirit of Cups. Okay. So your person has a very deep capacity. That's Scorpio love. The Two of Swords is the energy of Libra trying to stay balanced. The Ace of Swords, both of you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. But your person's keeping a lot blocked away, held back. They're going through a very rough time in which they've probably lost a lot through a divorce, but they definitely want the relationship with you. But they're not finished processing the negativity. They, have, they need to have a will, willing release. They need to use their intuition, but your person is definitely in love with you because we get this Two of Cups energy. Look at that. Twin Flame, the Naked Heart, Two of Cups, Four of Wands. So your person is not closed off to their feelings, but they don't want to talk about them is what I'm seeing. It's just they feel overwhelmed. They're like, let's take this a day at a time. Eat, drink, be merry, have fun. You know, go out. It's community card of partying with friends, with close family. So the relationship looks like it's moving forward. The Sun card clarifying the, the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords twice. Look at this. Both of you have fire in your belly. Spirit is saying you need fire in your belly. And the message here that Spirit is, is also saying is Libra. You need to show your happiness. You need to let your person know how overjoyed you are, how important they are to you. Don't keep them in the dark about how you feel, but don't, you know, but stay balanced. But you're Libra, so it's easy to stay balanced. So when we get the judgment energy, why is it here? Spirit of Swords, yep, King of Swords energy. So your person is leaving another relationship behind. And they're going to be making an offer to you. They're at a crossroads. Time to make a decision, Libra. So it looks like your person has chosen. You are their twin flame. That's what they want with you. They want that beautiful legacy relationship with you. So Libra, that is your reading. I'm going to leave it there. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. And hope to see you again in another video, Libra. Thanks. Bye-bye.